Hello guys and gals, welcome back to another special little video here on the channel. I hope you guys' space tour is going well, I'm recording this right after, and something has came to my attention. So, as we do know, this space tour has been very, very, very controversial. For many reasons, but the most notable one is Wii Rainbow Road, and what they did to that track. As a Wii super fan, as a Wii stan, you know, I grew up playing Wii and I loved this Rainbow Road track. It was very challenging. I loved the three laps of glory. But when it came to tour, you know, we were also hyped for the space tour. It was one of the most hyped tours ever, honestly, because Wii Rainbow Road is such a beloved track by everyone around the globe. Not only because it's nostalgic, but it's such a well-made track. Super fun. So they teased it on Twitter. Everyone got hyped. It was one of Nintendo's most engaged and viewed posts on Twitter, which is crazy. You can see the views compared to the New Year's tour and the holiday tour. It's like, it's insane. The hype was absolutely real. The trailer dropped and it was just amazing. We were so excited, it looked beautiful. And then we waited five days in anticipation to play the track. We finally got the tour, the space tour, and then we played Wii Rainbow Road. And Nintendo did cut the track, butchered it. Honestly, kind of even ruined it. Of course, it's really valid to be sad about this, but I think a lot of people are going a bit too far and literally bashing Nintendo and DNA and also some other people in the community who support this. I personally did not support this in the beginning because I felt like there was no need to cut down the track, you know, it literally ruined everything. But then, something very interesting came to my attention. So, this user named Hero on Twitter posted a run on Rainbow Road with a coin box driver being gold and charging shock. The action count that he got on this track, the action count means the amount of actions that you performed in a race, like collecting a coin, going up a half pipe, using your items to hit people, gliding you get the point like the combo and he got 215 on this rainbow road track which is pretty insane because it's only pretty much one lap you don't go around the whole track twice and that really hit me i was like if this was two laps what would have happened like could he have been able to get like 400 actions or something like that's really interesting is this why nintendo cut down the track in half and i think it is so I know 3DS Rainbow Road is also really high scoring, but having two tracks being this high scoring would honestly break the game. And again, if Wii Rainbow Road was two laps in Mario Kart Tour and you'd be able to perform 400 actions, it would be kind of ridiculous to be honest. But in my opinion, I feel like they could have made some changes. Cutting down a lap was absolutely insane. Maybe they could have removed some actions, you know, some of the half pipes, just take them off. In a way, try to reduce the actions or maybe Maybe Nintendo don't put plus skills on the top shelf of these tracks. If we used a character that's not a coin boxer or a boomerang driver on these tracks, we wouldn't have been able to surpass the 200 actions. And there are many characters in the game that do not have a boomerang skill or a coin box skill, so they could have put these guys on the top shelf, but no, they didn't. They instead decided to take away a lap and change this track forever. I mean, that's such a slap in the face for this track's legacy. But at the same time, I kind of do understand Nintendo's point of view. And I also do want to thank you guys, my Shaggy Kart community. You guys are so like, you guys blow me away every time. I appreciate you guys so much for staying cool, understanding Nintendo's point of view always, and just appreciating a tour for what it always is. You guys are not the ones to complain. I know there's a lot of people on Twitter, Reddit, Discord, YouTube even, some people in my comment section that were new. We're just complaining and bashing Nintendo and DNA, it was crazy. And they were trying to justify their claims and calling the space tour the worst tour ever. But they kept forgetting the positive sides about the tour. It's always nice to find positivity when you're going through a bad time and this is what some people don't ever do. There's a huge difference between, you know, constructive criticism and complaining, but a lot of people don't really understand that. Anywho, I hope you guys are really enjoying this base tour, and if this track was 400 actions, let me know what you guys would have done. Are you in favor of that or not in favor of that? Personally, I feel like 400 actions would have been very fun, but I do understand the change. There could have been many other ways to go about this, but Nintendo did what they did, and they're not going to fix it anytime soon. You can definitely send some feedback about what you think about this track, that is why the feedback page exists in the game. And just let the devs know how you feel about this. Hopefully when they import in the other Rainbow Roads in Tour, they do not ruin them. You may be sad now, but the amount of content that Tour gets, you're going to be smiling once again. Trust me, man. We're going to get Asian Metropolitan City Tour next. That is very hype. And I don't want to say that your feelings towards this track and about this track don't matter because they definitely do. But there's a way to go about something and complaining and shouting at Nintendo is just not it, Chief. Mario Kart Tour has a long lifespan ahead. More content is planned. 
and I'm sure the devs are doing everything that's best for the game. Personally, even though the track is, of course, like one lap essentially, it's so fun. The half pipes are incredible to go up on. Using a coin box as you're going down that steep hill on Rainbow Road is incredible because all the coins fall in front of you and you essentially get all of them. Of course, I do love the top shelf characters on these tracks. I love how Ninja Shy Guy, Pink Ninja Shy Guy, and King Mario got a variant, and I also started investing into the Miis. That is a huge game changer for my account. So I did buy four Mii suits this tour. The reason why I started investing into the Miis is first off because I've been planning on it forever, especially because lots of these Miis suits have amazing coverage from my account, but I just held off on it. I just support the Mario characters, and these characters are you know, crossovers, and I just didn't want to invest into crossover characters because the main reason why I play this game is because of the Mario characters and how charming they actually are. But I just gave in, you know, why not? This is the meta, I decided to follow it. And another reason why I followed this meta is because we officially got another Mew Elite minion. Huge shout out to Comfy Pastels. I'll be uploading your special Elite minion animation in my next video. In honor of your Elite minion membership, I got the purple Mii suit in your name. And after that, I was like, why not? Let me start the Mii meta. Have you guys invested into any of the Miis? Let me know. So of course, the Wii Rainbow Road change will haunt me for the rest of my Mario Kart Tour life, but I just wanted to make this video to spread some positivity and show the point of view of the developers. 400 actions is no joke, you guys. And lastly, before we wrap up this video, I quickly just want to talk about Wii Rainbow Road and when it will potentially come to Mario Kart 8. So as you guys see on the channel, I recently started making a couple more Mario Kart 8 videos because honestly, I have the time, so why not make them? I will have another predictions video about Wave 4 dropping this weekend, so stay tuned for that. As for Wii Rainbow Road, a lot of people are concerned for whatever reason, but I just want to confirm this with you guys. People are scared that Wii Rainbow Road in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe when it will come, which it definitely will, is going to be also two laps or cut in half just like Tour. So I want to confirm that it won't be like this. They only did this in Tour because of the action count and how broken it would be if it was two laps. In Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, the Booster Course Pass, it will be three laps. You will get to experience all of its glory, the beautiful half pipes, the shooting star gliding section, and perhaps the hole jumps that are missing in Tour. But that does not mean that we should hate on Tour's version. It is just as charming, and without it in Tour, we don't even know if it would be existing in Mario Kart 8. I do think though it will be in Wave 6, being the last track. But we have seen some inconsistencies, just like how Waluigi Stadium was replaced with Maple Treeway in Wave 3. So that leads me into something else that I want to speculate on. Since Wii Rainbow Road is already in here, in tour, shining, and being played by us, I don't know if they will hold off Wii Rainbow Road for this long. What if Wii Rainbow Road gets swapped with some other track, just like what happened in Wave 3? Perhaps the last Wave 6 track can be a Nitro track, maybe tour Rainbow Road. Every single mainline Mario Kart game has had a new Rainbow Road, except Mario Kart Tour. So what if they're saving that until the end? That would be very interesting. Let me know what you guys think. I'll go more in detail about a Nitro Rainbow Road in the future. Stay tuned for that. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this discussion type video. Of course, more face cam videos will be at you guys very soon. But until then, enjoy what I have out so far. Stay hydrated, keeping awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.